Now the push is on to pull the plug on gasoline powered vehicles and go electric. But are we really ready to go all EV? A new study says not even close. KCAL's Joy Benedict takes a look at the challenges of charging. We just went all electric. They are flashy and fast as all electric vehicles are changing the way we drive. But is the infrastructure really ready for all these EVs to hit the road? We did it because we wanted to be less dependent on just fuel itself. Celestine Hong and her partner have two electric vehicles. We watched her plug and replug her Porsche into this Electrify America charging station numerous times. It's efficient, but um, this is kind of like a hassle. It's become a hassle because now more and more drivers are driving these electric cars. So, And you can't find a place to charge. You can't find a place to charge. And then that is the consensus, according to a new study by iccars.com. We want to get from 5, 6% new car percentage of EV market to 30%, 40%, some are saying 50% by 2030. You can't have that kind of explosive growth in EV market share if you don't have an infrastructure to support it. Carl Brower is an executive analyst for the website, which helps shoppers pick the best vehicles. There's 150,000 chargers in the country, which is about how many gas stations there are, and there's far less electric vehicles, so we should be beautiful, right? But most of those are level two, and you can't use a level two charger on any kind of realistic basis. You, you get like 10 to 20 miles in an hour of charging. According to their study, there are only 27,000 level three chargers nationwide, and only 40% of them are for non-Tesla vehicles. So if you don't have a Tesla, there are only 11,000 level three chargers in the whole country. The study compares the number of chargers per resident. And although California came in second, Vermont was the most EV friendly state with 700 residents per charger. The worst ranked state was Mississippi with only one charger for every 9,200 people. But if you are a non Tesla driver, the best state for a fast charge is Oklahoma. I was charging in my uh, workplace. So I charge five hours. It takes only 10%. So, no, it's not worth it. Karul Kabir is just renting this Nissan Leaf, but he says right now it's just too hard to get a charge. The thing I don't like it because it's you know the the station is busy. I have to wait. Proving although many may be ready to try an EV, they just aren't ready to buy. For finding a charge may still be too much of a hassle. Joy Benedict, KCAL News.